Good evening and welcome back. So in the last match we had a, well, a very difficult game against Midland in the Champions League, but we got through in the end, winners of that game, and we're now actually two points clear in the group stages. We've already one match remaining against second place AC Milan, so it looks like we're going to get top spot for that. Into today, we're playing back in the league against Sporting de Gijon. We're going to continue playing Ruben Castro, who's on that flashing up, which means that his experience is increased during this time, which means he's obviously going to improve a lot quicker. And we've made a few changes. Herrera's going to actually captain the team today in place of Vieira who's out. Lee Kang In's come in, Martinelli's on and up as well. We've got Mandanda and goal and a few other changes. Back in the comforts of the league at home. But that Champions League matchup was a great match. So if you haven't watched it, the last video was very entertaining. We went behind fairly early on, then we managed to get ahead, then they come back to draw again and we were eventual winners. Um, Castro has had back-to-back -back hat tricks and also back-to-back -back man of the matches, not surprised, with an 8.5 rating in both, which for pairs is very, very high rating. Um, even if you're man of the match, it tends to be a 7.5, I would say, is probably about average for a good man of the match performance. And if possible, again, what we want to do is get him a decent game and then take him off around about the 55, 60 minute mark, if we can, if we're in that position to do so. So he still gets all of the experience, but he will hopefully be available for the next match to keep that uh, quick progress going. I mean, he's already a very good player for us with his current stats. Here is Castro. Oh, Martinelli trying to find him. Wasn't a good pass, though. Backer, he had a very good match in the last one. Very influential. Good tackle there. He saw that. He saw which way Castro was going to go. And this white to back it. Again, he's already been involved a couple of times in this match. And again, just can't get a pass through at the moment. Kangani. Castro. Ah, straight at the keeper. Didn't quite turn. Couldn't get the power on it. Decent start though. Decent start. As I give the ball away. Good tackle by back end. Somehow we get the throw in. Martinelli now. Castro, Lee Kang in. Nice ball to Diaby. Lee Kang in. Not a lot of space. Back at. Martinelli now. Gedson. Castro. Oh, what a finish. Top of the roof of the net, rather. And his trademark celebration. Kept trying to work it through. Lee Kang in into Castro. Not a lot of space, but smashed into the top of the net. I mean, that's one way of making sure the keeper can't save it. And again, Castro scoring. That's three games running that he scored in. That's seven in three games so far. Ooh, could he be in here? Not quite. He's on absolute fire at the moment. Because, you know, being on that up doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to play well. You've got to put your chances away still. Castro again. GRB. Nice ball to Kang and Lee. Oh, and it's just. It's a lot of balls, passes, hitting off defenders. Good tackle. Uh, yeah, there's loads of passes just hitting defenders. It's, I haven't seen this many in a while. 
get in. Kang and Lee gets tackled though, just as he was about to play the pass. Another good tackle. TRB now. It's not the best of passes. It's a bit frantic. We need to slow things down a little bit. Keep possession a bit better. Now DRB. A bit more controlled. Castro. Martinelli. Back to Martinelli. Lovely finish from Martinelli. He hasn't scored in a few matches. What a finish. It's the little one twos. Nice little pass there. But it's all about that left foot finish. One touch out of his feet, slotted in the net. Sorry, I do like, he did score a few matches ago, I think it was two or three matches ago, where he, he actually had a poor performance and then scored right at the end. Um, but he hasn't scored, I suppose, when it's mattered, if that makes sense. And that's a free kick for a few matches. I mean, all players have periods where they they don't play their best or have little lapses where they're not involved as much or they're not really scoring or assisting. I mean, Martinelli's a fantastic player. Clearly. Here he is again. Running through on goal here. And it's 3 0. Very calm finish. Gets it on the halfway line, and there's no thought but to go on and score. No one could catch up with him anyway, even our players. It's as calm as you like. That's more like it. The last match was a bit of a struggle. A very enjoyable game. Probably better to watch. Um, but me personally, I like to be selfish. I want to score lots of goals. I don't want to let in goals. <laughs> That's what I want. See if my nana get this clear quickly, and he does. More than he doesn't have the best of touches, though. GRB, Castro, Kang and Lee. GRB, nice ball out wide to Martinelli. And he gets tackled. Overplayed it, I think, a bit there. Herrera, the captain for today, breaks it up, though. Oh, and it's, it's a terrible own goal. What is going on there? Herrera's got to get some credit for breaking up play and driving down the left-hand side, but that's really unfortunate. And I think we'll only look at this replay once. Don't really want it for brain, but... Ah, oh, it's very unlucky. Hey, but it's 4-0. I'll take it. I'd rather one of my players gets credited with a goal than an own goal. But uh, adds a bit of extra breathing room. Kang and Lee. DRB. Now Castro. Free kick. Ooh, got a chance for a free kick here. No. Has he blown it the other way? I have no idea what happened there. That was not a free kick. Their way. But it'll be half time. Great first half. We'll jump into the second. Like I say, we will try and take Castro off relatively soon. Just to give them that uh, rest for the next game. It'd be great if you could get one more goal or be involved in one more goal before we do that. Herrera. Nice play from Castro there, but Kang In Lee loses it. Oh, gets in through now. It's a free kick. That was poor from Gedson though. Got a little bit lucky, really. He 
magnificent. Now Kanga Lee. What's going on there? I've got no idea what the referee's blown at now. I mean, that challenge happened really ages before that. Not that it was a free kick, but... Now Diaby, Castro, Martinelli. Ooh. Wow. They got a little bit lucky there. That's a really poor throw. Straight to Castro. Castro again. Now Diaby. And it's a free kick. Let's hope Castro's not injured. It's in a good position. I think we'll, yeah, I think we'll take Castro off now. And he's getting a stand innovation. Rightly so. I don't know, is he injured? I don't know if he's injured or not. I hope not. But Kang and Lee's going to take this. Oh, top of the wall. And that wasn't the uh, the best of punches. Emerson, good save. Nice cross, good header, and a good save. Good all round uh, football there. Well, apart from the defending, probably. Here's Xerxes. Now Gedson. And there it is. It's Martinelli with the hat trick now. So we had Castro two games running, getting Adric, and now Morinelli's got one. Really nice play. Xerxes wins it back. Little reverse pass to Gedson. Drives through. Little ball through. And very calmly finished. Really pleased to see Morinelli getting the hat-trick. And we'll make some more subs now, I think. So for the final two subs, we're going to bring on Carlos Perez for Diaby on the right, and we're going to bring on Mudrick for Kang and Lee in that central attack midfield role. And Mudrick has played in that position quite a few times, very successfully as well. In fact, the short amount of times he's played there, he's impressed me more than playing out wide, um, which I, I've said before I didn't expect. He gets it early here. Martinelli now Gedson. Oh, wide. You expected Gedson to score there. Mudrick involved straight away from the substitution. Yeah, just not really cleanly struck. But Gedson, he's been decent today. He's obviously got that assist. He's been involved quite a lot. Which is good to see. And um, some out a free kick. And they're not going to take it from there, I was going to say. It's nowhere near there. Well, good save, but I was trying to drag the keeper over to the left. If you hold triangle, they're supposed to edge further towards the wall, but still. Computer free kicks are definitely overpowered in this game. Here's Carlos Perez. Chance to bring it away. Mudrick on the overlap. And of course he's got pace to burn. And all the energy. And how's he missed it? After all that, I was like... <laughs> uh, after all that, running halfway down the pitch... All you have to do really is hit the target. Great run though. Get a, get a little bit lucky there. Six, he had made a poor pass. Really. Nice play by Gedson. Oh, just wide. He's been threatening a few times in this second half. 
Really nice little feint to avoid the defender. Good tackle. Now gets in again. Loses it this time. Just overplayed it a bit. Ooh, it's not where I was trying to pass. Never mind. People falling all over the place. <laughs> no reason. Keep us having a bit of a nosebleed there. Oh, Mudrick. Martinelli. Ah, oh, it was a poor pass. There was so much space to play that. Mudra gets it back. Oh, it's the post. Wow. What a strike that was. Just gets in front of the defender here. One touch. Smashes it. Oh, just the outside of the post. That would have been an absolute stunner. I mean, Mudrick should have at least had one goal already. Is that a free kick for us? All right, I'll, I mean, I'll take it. Um, not really sure what's happening there. People seem to be just running each other, getting each other's way. Perez, Mudrick. Oh, Xerxes is way offside. Xerxes gets caught offside so many times. I mean, I, I wasn't actually trying to play it to him. I was trying to play it to, to Gedson, who was running through. Good uh, leaping header there. No Martinelli gets in again. Oh, that's a poor pass. Some sloppy passes by both teams, actually. Gets in. Nice play. Now Modric. Perez. Modric. That's got to be a foul. What? So I had the ball and get fouled in the box and it's... <sighs> These referees are on crack, I swear. Not the good kind either. Whatever that means. Uh, here's her error. Cersei. Again, that looked like a foul. Mudrick. Oh, that's a poor pass. Sloppy passes. Good tackle by Herrera, though. Now Mudrick. Mudrick again. Cersei. Ah! Now Emerson. Woodrick. Gets in. Woodrick again. There's no space. Sexy. In off the post and in. Well, we really had to work hard for that one. How many passes went in here, but in the end, it's a lovely ball through to Xerxes and slotted it away in off the post. Nice ball from Emerson. Whew, it's gonna be 6-0 at full time. Sorry about that noise in the background there. There it is. Another hat trick this time. It's Martinelli. And Martinelli getting an 8.5 this time. Castro was very good. He came off after about 50, 55 minutes and he still got a 7.5. Great all round performance and even the subs did well. Mudrick really should have had a couple of goals. Gedson, I was impressed with, especially in the second half, and he got a 7 there. Good to see.
But that's it for today, guys. The next match is away to Espanyol. Then we've got that massive home match against Barcelona. Arguably an equally bigger match against AC Milan away. Although we only need a draw on that one to finish top spot in the group stages of the Champions League. So join us for those games. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.